Now more than ever, it is important to analyze different movements and their strategies of change so growing members of minorities can organize effectively to demand equality and society can finally see their struggles. So my research question is, with both movements sharing the goal of fighting for equal rights for African Americans, how and why have the Black Lives Matter movement evolved from the civil rights movement to differ in its protest tone and style to such a large degree? This research question comes from the stimulus material Blowing in the Wind, a song by Bob Dylan about progression, and is commonly used as a civil rights anthem, and Martin Luther King's Letter from a Birmingham Jail, which where we wrote extensively about the civil rights movement and their fight for equality. So the fundamental difference between the civil rights movement and the Black Lives Matter movement is respectability politics. The idea that African Americans can best respond to racism by earning their respect of life and raising their reputation. Martin Luther King's civil rights movement is a quintessential example of respectability politics. He emphasized the importance for supporters to wear formal clothes and use respectful language. Most importantly, despite violence being used against them, protesters remained nonviolent. A specific example is Rosa Parks' famous refusal to leave a bus receipt reserved for white people only. She was actually not the first person who refused to give up her seat. Two other women, Claudette Cloven and Mary Louise Smith, aged 15 to 18, were also arrested prior to Rosa Parks for refusing to give up their seats on the bus. However, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the activist organization working with King, did not take either of their cases because neither of them fit as faces for the movement. Clovin was pregnant and Smith's father was an alcoholic. Both were not deemed as figureheads because they had questionable factors of their character. Rosa Parks, however, was married and did womanly work as a seamstress. According to Professor Hendrickson from the University of Pennsylvania in the journal Rhetoric and Political, Political Affairs, those qualities, in addition to her classy manner, made her appear respectable. This emphasis on making sure that the movement has the right figurehead exemplifies the civil rights movement's acute awareness to the role respectability politics played in the movement's image. Respectability politics was the core component in the success of the civil rights movement, creating the foundation on which African Americans could begin to demand change. To this day, Black Lives Matter has failed to appeal to society like the civil rights movement was able to. As a social movement, Black Lives Matter was born from an opposition to respectability politics. It insists that regardless of purported non-respectable behavior, black people's lives still matter because they're human. This push against respectability politics is seen in their shift in protest styles. They have placed significantly less emphasis on the people that the movement is associated with. For example, in 2015, the Black Lives Matter protesters disrupted a town hall for Democratic presidential candidates uninvited and spoke for a lengthy time about their movement. This was considered a rude disruption and something that Martin Luther King would have stayed, up, stayed away from. So what has caused Black Lives Matter to take such a hard turn away from the respectability politics practiced during the civil rights movement? Well, respectability politics supports both the over-legitimization of white culture and the delegitimization of black culture by replacing bad traits with what is considered good, namely white, middle class values and culture. As a result, respectability politics equates white culture as the correct higher culture. This then leads to the concurrent devaluation of black culture when you look at the counterfactual, that perhaps if black people do not conform, they do not deserve rights. An example of how this counterfactual rhetoric has spread in our society is in media coverage during police shootings. Bioethics professor at UC Berkeley, Dr. Obasagi, conducted a study analyzing the types of rhetoric that journalists use when reporting on officer-related deaths, and found that these reports continue to, quote, reflect a troubling rhetoric that minimizes the lives lost and overstates legit legitimacy of police use of deadly force, unquote. Additionally, research supports that respectability politics can cause poorer physical and mental health. Dr. Lee and Dr. Hicken of the University of Washington published a study examining vigilance which is a concept describing behaviors like care for and appearance and language used to navigate social spaces, the kind of acts that respectability politics are practicing. The study found that these kind of chronic self-regulatory behaviors activate the body's primary stress response system and can actually lead to chronic health conditions and depressive symptoms. The Black Lives Matter movement and civil rights movement are both very well-known activist organizations of their respective Though both movements share the mission of removing inequality against African Americans, their means of doing so are different. 
chiefly due to the civil rights movement's use of respectability politics. The civil rights movement became one of the most successful movements in the U.S. history by appealing to society's values, laying the foundation for equality for African Americans. But its use of respectability politics also unintentionally led to the legitimization of white culture and the delegitimization of black culture driving Black Lives Matter to now fight against this notion of respectability. Today, regardless of whether respectability politics is viewed from a beneficial or from a harmful perspective, especially in this current political environment, there must be a deeper awareness of how respectability politics and the role it plays in activist movements works in order to cement a greater understanding of how Black Lives Matter stands in relation to the civil rights movement and what role it is trying to play by practicing respectability politics. Minorities can only begin to demand equality with consciousness and society to view their struggles with urgency and with knowledge and the history of how respectability politics has impacted the evolution in the fight for African American rights. differences between the two movements and why they exist. 